hockey fans from around the world are expected to come to the World Junior Championship later this month in Buffalo. But surprisingly, there's one group coming in fewer numbers the Canadians. Canadians bought 60% of the tickets when Buffalo hosted the 2010-2011 World Juniors. This tournament, Canadians account for 35% of ticket sales with one week to go. Some 10,000 ticket packages for all the games were sold in 2010-2011. Now, we have about one-third of that number sold, said Michael Gilbert, Buffalo Sabres Senior Vice President and Harbour Centre General Manager. The 11-day tournament involving 10 international hockey teams opens in Buffalo on December 26 and ends January.5. A ticket package for all 31 games sells for $1,550. We're disappointed with the advance ticket sales, Gilbert said. Gilbert said he is encouraged by a spike in sales over the past week. We are hoping the trending continues upward, he said. The games will feature the top players under age 20 from North America and Europe. The Sabres will host games at Key Bank Center and the adjacent Harbor Center. One game, billed as United States vs. Canada, will be played at New Era Field at 3 p.m. on December.29. Groupon currently offers $65 face value tickets for $35 for the New Era Field game. The drop-off in Canadian ticket sales could be because the games were held in southern Ontario two of the last three years. Ticket prices were higher at those tournaments than the Buffalo games, Gilbert said. The low exchange rate for the Canadian dollar could also be a factor. That wasn't as much of a factor seven years ago. More availability of individual game tickets on secondary ticket markets is another change from when Buffalo last hosted the World Junior Championship. That has undercut the appeal of the 31-game ticket package, which guarantees a chance to see all of the most in-demand games, Gilbert said. Whatever the reasons, the Sabres and the IIHF are trying to compensate by adding individual tickets earlier than before and two additional ticket packages priced at $1,265 and $690, respectively. The event is expected to be a boon to downtown hotels and restaurants, with thousands of room reservations at a time of the year when business is typically slow. All 10 teams from the United States, Canada, Belarus, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, Russia, Slovakia, Sweden and Switzerland will stay at downtown hotels. In addition to the teams, others hall stay at hotels include referees, tournament officials, family members and out-of-town fans. We're hearing from other hotels that they're happy, said Patrick Kaler, President and CEO of Visit Buffalo Niagara. It's not meeting all their expectations but this would typically be a slow period of time, and they are thrilled with the business they are getting at this point. Kaler said the 8,300 room nights booked for the teams alone represents a $7 million regional impact. The World Juniors are fantastic, and selling out, said Wendy Klubin of Buffalo Lodging Associates, whose holdings include the downtown Hampton Inn and Suites, Courtyard by Marriott at Canalside, Hampton in Buffalo Airport and Courtyard Buffalo Airport. They are even affecting our airport hotels.